Dermaplast. I'm about to spray my whole vag and butt with this. You guys don't get to see that. Oh, it's cold. You have no hair, buddy. Somebody's real. Very lucky boy. Mm. Alrighty, so it is 10 o'clock. <clears throat> We're still in the delivery room. I think. Well, first time now, the tripod's working out so good that I got you for. Uh, so important for this video. The tripod that Nick bought me is working out so great. Yeah. Um, well, it's working out so good. Thank you. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> we are both pretty exhausted, but overall that was like so easy compared to with Harlow, our firstborn, which if you know, you know. Um, but yeah, I uh, have now had a medicated birth <laughs> and an unmedicated birth. And... Um, very different. I'll have to talk about that maybe. Um, it's kind of cool to see the two different ways though. <coughs> um, um, but just to give you a heads up what we're doing here, we're basically like this drip finished finally because this has been really annoying to try and like breastfeed and just handle him in general. It's like pretty sore. But um, we're still in the delivery room five hours later after um, his birth and there's nowhere to put the baby. So like one of us has to be holding him uh, I the unless car seat we in. brought the car seat in <laughs> and there's no better couch for Nick. Um, and uh, um, there's literally like these little plastic chairs over here. Uh, so, and there's no shower in here either. Not that I'd be showering necessarily right away, but um, so we're gonna probably go home today, but everything, went really well i tore to a one so i have some stitches in there those lidocaine shots by your butthole are no freaking joke holy shit um I, those. Whew, I don't recommend them to anybody um so we're both super healthy and happy and everything went really well so besides the fact that i just squeezed a baby out of my vagina with no medication um <laughs> everything went really really well and we literally almost had this baby in the car on the freeway thanks for being my driver he crushed it yeah oh my ass this this delivery seat is starting to hurt and this blanket still has blood on it overall though uh, like this has been e even though our room is not like at least at scripts he, he had somewhere to sleep and lay and there was a shower but everyone has been super super nice our um, gift bags went over well, I think. I don't think I said how long he was. I don't actually know how long. I need to ask them. He's like at least three inches. <laughs> he um, was almost, is almost eight pounds. He's seven pounds, 14 ounces. That's big for a baby three inches. <clears throat> He's like a week and some change early. So can you imagine how big he'd be and how heavy he'd be if he was two weeks over like Harlow? He'd be like 10 pounds. Like... That would be gnarly. Um, he'd actually be almost a, a, 11. Fold it to you here. Oh. Yeah, take it out of the thing first. Bless you. Bless you, my son. We are six hours postpartum. Oh, I've got the little nipple, sh silver nipple shields, shields in here. I just gave myself a new diaper. Let's see if I can show you guys what we're working with right now. So, oh, that is what is going on. I'm about to put my I'm about to breastfeed again. I'm gonna go ahead and put my little thing on here. This is the best one I found on Amazon. <clears throat> the first one I had, like had like three pieces to it and it was way too much going on. So then this one comes over, tightens on there. 
I'm gonna take my nipple silver nips out because I'm about to breastfeed. Finally got this IV out of my freaking hand. It was like so painful. So yeah, we're gonna breastfeed right now. And he was a little champ about it before. So let's hope it's like that again. Look how cute. Look at these two. Huh? That's really good. The tequila? Yeah. <laughs> I really should have brought those little claustrum collectors. That would have been a really good idea. He does not want to eat, but he needs to eat. He needs to wake up. This looks so cute on you. You've been alive for almost 12 hours. <laughs> and you're doing so good. I think you could be a little bit better on the eating front. I can all agree on that. That's cool. We'll work on it. No big deal. Room for improvement. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Three, two, Billing, press four. Medical record, press five. For all other inquiries. See, look at your hands in your mouth. Why won't you breastfeed? Huh? The dream team right here, y'all. <laughs> okay, I got my diapes. We're doing some tuck pads on here. I did have a hemorrhoid come back. However, it doesn't hurt, which is amazing. I've got some Freedom Mom per perineal, uh, perineal healing foam. Just gonna, you know, put that on there liberally. Probably better to put more back there. And then Dermaplast. I'm about to spray my whole vag and butt with this. You guys don't get to see that. Oh, it's cold. Filling this thing out with how much I pee. Um, I was having a nap in between there, so that's why it's so long. So this is the closet. The closet, oh my gosh. I got closets on my mind. Um, we just remodeled ours. <laughs> this is the shower. I don't think I'm gonna be showering here because we're gonna leave actually tonight, which is cool. So I guess I'm gonna start this. I had this in my cupboard from last baby. Ugh, this stuff smells so good. Oh, I thought he was like gurgling. I was like, uh, do you want the thingy? Um, this is Ritual Essential Vitamin Postnatal. I don't know like really when you're supposed to start taking this, but I haven't. I've been actually out of my prenatal vitamins. I almost bought more. It's like $40 a thing. I'm talking to you. <laughs> I almost bought more prenatal and I was like, eh, isn't he done cooking? Like only a couple more weeks. Like how do I need to buy another $40 bottle? And I almost did. And then I didn't, I'm glad I didn't because I've only been out of them for like two days. We're just about to get the hearing test done and we did something else. What was the other one? Billy Rubin. I didn't have anything funny to say. <laughs> for jaundice? liver function, et cetera, et cetera. They didn't have to prick his foot though. That was cool. Yeah, we're gonna see if you can hear now, Mr. White Man. Another turd. Stick to their skin. Oh, no. 
<laughs> so he just pooped again. So the pediatrician just came in and was like, you guys can leave at 5.30 and it's just five now um, if he has pooped. And so I was like, oh, I was napping. I haven't checked yet. And I checked and there was like a giant meconium turd in there. And he just like had a really wet fart and already pooped again. Dad's over there cleaning his balls out. <laughs> <laughs> so like lift them up and clean all the sticky stuff out from underneath. Yeah, everyone says it's like weird to clean a girl, but I think it's easier actually. Why is he spitting up? Mm. Oh, oh hammer <laughs> pink. Look at this celebratory dinner we have here. You talking about me? Oh, the dinner, yeah. <laughs> Cool. There's like a Caesar salad, all sorts of good stuff in there. Um, the OB just came in and did every, like went over everything with me. And so like everything's good. Like we're about to get discharged. So we're gonna eat this and then head home. Um, this little guy just spit up pretty much everything that he breastfed uh, the entire day, it seemed like. So we're gonna try that again in a minute. I got some gnocchi. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Thank you. We're gonna put on some um, um, Frank Sinatra and enjoy our meal. Um, we have our nanny, Laura, who was kind enough to stay late today um, to hang out with Harlow. So she's at the house um, and uh, grandparents will be there around 7.48, so. Um, We'll see what time we get home, but there's a storm rolling in and I don't know what that's gonna look like this weekend. So I guess we'll see. Oh no, that's yours. I don't want the flat one. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. To you, my man. Cheers, buddy. Look at that view. <laughs> Nick keeps calling. Nick, your hair looks good. Nick keeps Thanks. calling him a girl too. Does yeah, I can't. Yeah, I did that. That's amazing. Look how it's good hard. it looks. She can polish a turd. <laughs> <laughs> and little baby's meeting grandpa. Um, his middle name is actually after his middle name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just ordered some sushi. We're starving. I think I'm gonna go and stick. What is it? I keep wanting to say epidural, an enema on my butt, so I can just pass a turd right now before it gets hard and stays up there forever and kills me. What is that on my face? We have a project, Ray. Right? We gotta install the bidet tomorrow. Oh yeah, Nick's gonna go pick up the bidet. Day. That's my, like, that's my push day. present to myself. It like <laughs> it's okay. You're okay. You're good. There you go. It is 10.15. I'm gonna finish up this feeding right now and then we're gonna do lights out and I'm actually not going to film throughout the night. I was going to and I just decided that I would so much rather just enjoy this time and relax and like not just show every time I'm feeding and turning on a light. Maybe in the future when I'm a little more well rested and we have a little bit more of a routine. Um, but I'm gonna set my alarm for every two hours to wake up to feed him um and in the meantime i've been wearing these like little silver nipples on my nipples so i will film a bit tomorrow as well to include in here but i just don't feel like sacrificing my night to film so um yeah uh we'll see you guys in the morning with real editing magic um and i'll let, let you know how the night goes i'm so tired that we almost didn't film this <laughs> heartless about to meet the baby she heard him crying last night and I went in there and she goes, oh baby. And then she goes, shh. Okay. Oh baby. Oh baby. Oh baby. He's being quiet for you. Oh, who's that? Baby why? Oh look at his toes. You want to see his toes? Where's his toes? Toes. Toes. You can, you can touch his toes. You want to touch his toes? Touch his toes. <laughs> baby. That's your baby brother. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> She's like, where the heck did he come from? 
I love you, baby. Can you say Wyatt? Wyatt? Wyatt's tummy? Baby Wyatt. You want to kiss his feet? Want to kiss his little feet? Kiss his feet. Can you say shh, shh, shh? Let's put baby Wyatt on the ground and let you say hi. Be gentle, please. Be gentle, please. Oh, shh. I know. I am. Uh, <laughs> you back off. You back off. You say hi. Sit down. Sit down. Hi, Wyatt. Hi, Wyatt. No, no peaches. Can you sit down? Can you sit down, baby? Can you sit down? No, no, honey. Make him sit. You sit down. Let's sit down with Dad. Okay. I hope she doesn't think that she's making him cry. It's okay. I think she'll burn. Can I sit in this? You can sit in this now. Now you can get in. Agua. 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 Okay, well, baby. Here's your baby. Here's your baby. You rocking your baby? <laughs> it's a little aggressive. Yes, look at your baby brother. You were never that little, honey. No. Nope. <laughs> good, good, oh, good job. Good job. Is this a, a mouth and a nose? Aww. A nose, yep. Good job. Gentle. So gentle. No. A nose, yes, and a mouth. mouth. Nose. Nose. Eye. And a mouth. Good job. Good job. Eyes. Eyes, yeah. Carlo, what did Wyatt get you? Did Wyatt get you some presents? Open. What's that? What did he give you? Oh, good job. Big piece. <laughs> no, but now it's going to be yeah. really like open all the time. Uh, so we did a lot of side nursing last night to get him to go to sleep, but I imagine the first day in the real world is difficult. You're breathing air now, you're not in a warm womb, so. Mm. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> All right, my stepmom Karen takes this and she needs to cleanse her colon. So I'm gonna try this. I um, didn't go last night when I needed to, and I didn't use an enema either. I was like, oh, you know what, maybe I should give myself a little bit of time. Um, so I'm having some of this, some prunes, and some prune juice and apple juice. So, let's see. Wheeling this bad boy to the bathroom because I think the time has come, y'all. That was so successful. I highly recommend some apple juice, prune juice, prunes, and some psyllium, psyllium, psyllium husk. I mixed it in with some prune juice and like it, and just drank it. Like, that was so pleasant and like not scary at all. Um, highly recommend. I also took some tablets yesterday um, to like a stool softener kind of situation. So I'll link those too if you guys are interested, but I highly recommend like thinking about your bowel movements after you have a baby and get prepared with what you're comfortable taking. Um, like, uh, um, before you have your baby, super important. So I'm putting on some of my belly oil that I've been putting on pretty much every pregnancy so far. I think I should still hydrate it. I think it'll help it like shrink back. Yeah, for sure. Hydrate that bitch, you know what I mean? These silver nipple things are funny because they make this look like nipples. <laughs> um, this is what we got going on the second day, or the day after, I should say, not even the second day, but. It's cozy. Mm-hmm. Um, Oh, kind of hurts a little bit, especially when I'm breastfeeding, um, but it's not too bad. I mean, compared to like squeezing a baby out of my vagina with no medicine, not bad. <laughs> Feels crazy that he's like not in here anymore. It's so weird. It is the next day. This isn't really a 24 hour vlog, I guess. <laughs> it's the next day. It's like about the middle of the day. I'm about to do a little sits bath for Todd. That's what I named my hemorrhoid. Um, so, 
thanks faith for getting this for me i highly recommend putting this on your um uh baby what am i trying to say your baby registry if you're pregnant because uh, you may or may not get hemorrhoids but this will be good for your vagina nonetheless um so you put this on the toilet you fill it up with warm water and then this is um like essential oils and the soap that you put in there so i'm gonna do this and i'm going to give you guys an update on everything while i soak my bum harlow has not been napping the past couple days so we can chat through that while my bum soaks in this it's actually really lovely um <laughs> This feels really good. Oh my gosh, this bathroom is so messy. We haven't remodeled this bathroom yet, as you can tell. Um, I got more sleep last night than I got the night before, so I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, let's see some updates. Baby boy is doing really well. He is not really sleeping unless he's like co-sleeping in bed, which obviously everyone thinks is very dangerous, and I think it can be if you don't take the right precautions, so we're doing what works for us. Um, and uh yeah so he is sleeping well if he's being side breastfed and then kind of dozes off so that's been really good he's been nursing really well um like i've been using this um, app called huckleberry i just used it for the first time for the last breastfeed so i feel like in the first few like few weeks even or a couple weeks there's really no I mean, unless you're gonna forget, there's really no reason to track it all unless you wanna know for yourself. But I tracked like on the left side and I'm offering that breast first because it's kind of my bitch tit. Like it doesn't ever produce as much or hasn't. So I'm using that to kind of measure. I still have my little silver shields on and I would say that they're like making the physical appearance of my nipple better. Like they're not scabbing or bleeding or bubbling or anything like they did with Harlow, but it still feels the same and it does still feel painful. I just think like breastfeeding is a pain, literally in the first couple weeks. And I think after that, it kind of is like your feet with calluses and stuff, like they get used to it and stuff, but like your boobs are so sore before you have a baby. Like even just a shirt brushing them is like beyond tender. So I think it's kind of weird that like, I don't know, all these sites are like, oh, if it hurts, like there's something wrong. And I don't necessarily buy that shit because I just think it hurts. Um, so does this hemorrhoid, it sucks. Hemorrhoids are a real thing that nobody talks about. Uh, with Harlow, I had like very, very gnarly hemorrhoids. Um, I would say a couple months prior to giving birth to her, they were at full force and like everything was painful, like sitting. I can't even tell you how painful it was. Like I had to like tell people, like my family around the table with me, like why I was getting up like that. I was like, this is so painful. Um, and I had to tell them why, because I was like, I, my hemorrhoid is like so gnarly. And then when I had her, I was like, dude, this hemorrhoid, like somebody's gotta hold a warm washcloth on this bad boy to push this baby out, like it, I was terrified. So anyways, this one is not that bad. This far, this, I got it like a week before I had the baby and um, it was, oh my gosh, you're crying, sorry. Um, it's a, uh, it's, it's a, uh, it wasn't bad, but now after I've had him, now it hurts. Um, so hopefully this little bath helps it go down. That is not me peeing, by the way. It has little holes in it that pushes the water out so it doesn't overflow. Um, Harlow and baby. So she's doing really well. Um, she keeps going over to him and like saying hi and like wants to like touch his little toes and his face. And he, she has to be monitored. Obviously she doesn't, she's usually very gentle like with the cats and stuff. So I wasn't too worried about it, but um, she keeps wanting to like step on him. like. Not in a, I wanna hurt you way, but like, I want to be on you. <laughs> um, so I'm having, ha we're having to watch that. And I can't tell if this like not napping is like a regression right now, it might be, but she's also been kind of hit or miss with that because of her teething. She got like three, she got like five teeth coming in, three which are molars right now. So it's a little gnarly. Um, it has been a godsend to have help here. Like being able to just kind of like sleep in with the baby and like breastfeed while grandma and grandpa have Harlow in the living room and got her up and got her breakfast. Like, ugh, was so amazing. Like most people don't get that luxury and we are so lucky. So thank you my lucky stars for that. Nick has been absolutely amazing. He took off, um, to go around or go around and a half, which means he'll be off till like November 9th ish. And my mom will be in town for her birthday till like November 14th or so. So I'll get a little bit of time with just like me and my mom to kind of like ease back into like, okay, I'm gonna be doing this like on my own with two under two. Uh, so yeah, um, he's 
been nursing good have i missed anything my bleeding has been like seems like it's been a lot more minimal i'll probably do a video like of a wrap up of like this postpartum currently versus my last but i just think that i'm bleeding a lot less there's a lot less like cl blood clots a lot less of all of that and i don't know if it's because it was less traumatic it was not medicated i don't know but um yeah it's been it's been a lot better in that department i don't know why this is dripping it is all the way off um i'm gonna soak my butt in here for like 10 more minutes and then i'm gonna go take a shower i'm gonna wash my hair and blow dry it which I'm very excited to do. Um, uh, baby's with Grandpa right now. I'm gonna have to breastfeed him in between there. And then, yeah, so I'm using this new app to like kind of track that. You can track like diaper changes and stuff like that. It's really good if you you know have in-laws in town or people helping you or a nanny or like whatever your situation or maybe you're just like scatterbrained. Helps you kind of like keep everything together in one place so like Nick will know when he pooped last. Like he won't even have to ask me if he just wants to look and see. Like he'll be able to see when he has last bowel movement, bath, etc. Speaking of which, we need to give him a bath today. His belly button's looking a little like it needs some water and then to be dried thoroughly. And then we'll, we're gonna put some powder on it. Um, we're taking him to his first newborn appointment, like his first checkup appointment tomorrow. So that will be interesting. It'll be the first time like going out with him. So we're gonna do that. Um, and then this coming week, we'll probably do some other things, go out to dinner. I don't know. He's like a lot more chill currently, like knock on wood than Harlow. Um, so that's been really nice. Like this whole time, like Harlow didn't sleep like this during the day. She pretty much just screamed all day long. Like it was, it was rough. So this has been uh, a lot different already. Um, knock on wood. My milk has not come in yet either. Um, my cramping is a lot worse with the second baby which i've heard is a thing uh shrinking back down to size it hurts a lot more um with your second baby i guess it has like a lot more stretching back down to do so yeah that's been kind of a continuous like feels like a little nauseous like period cramps kind of all day long and it's definitely worse obviously when i'm nursing that's like a thing i guess um and so at least it's a plus of nursing though it helps you shrink back up like all your body parts in there and everything kind of go back to normal so that's an update over here, a little more than 24 hours, but um, I'm super grateful to have help right now. It is overwhelming. I am overwhelmed, but I'm also very happy and very excited to just watch our little family grow. And I'm just super grateful that this like birth was like fast and easy. You know, obviously it was very painful. It wasn't medicated, but um, I'm just happy that our baby is healthy and that I'm healthy and like everything is good. and. I highly recommend UCSD Jacobs over Scripps and Sunitas any freaking day. So, you know, my battery's about to die, so I'm gonna sign off. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your love and support and all of your sweet comments on my first picture with the baby and I. Um, thank you guys so much for all your support. I really appreciate it. Thanks.